with Jared. And Jared, it looks like something in his heel. Uh, it, it happened in the tackle with Andy Robertson. But after it, if you if you look at the, the clip, he did an action. He ran back uh, to the edge of the box and then uh, then went down. So I was hoping that that would mean uh, this isn't too bad, maybe. But what I didn't like was that he, he sort of came off with non-weight bearing. So we'll get him scanned to check and see what it is. But it's not, for me, first look, I'm not a physio. It doesn't, it's not an obvious looking injury to me at the moment. You know, it looks as if it's he's been caught near the Achilles or the heel, something like that. So uh, reflections on the game. Uh, I thought I thought we played better than we have done. I thought our performance level was much better. I think we uh, we found it difficult in the opening 15, 20 minutes. You know, we could have been we could have been further behind. But I thought we grew into the game, and I I thought we had shots on goal. I thought we get in behind Liverpool. I thought we we had one or two huge opportunities and. In midweek, I'd said that, you know, we'd like the quality in the box to score. I thought we're forward players. I thought Mickey and Tony played really well today. But we're just lacking that bit at the moment, maybe against the top teams where you have to be really clinical. And we just missed that today. Not many, um, not many teams create that many chances. I mean, is that the, um, you know, what the, mm. is that the frustration that we don't Yeah, we don't. That? You know, because it's easy for me to say, but ultimately I get no points from it. But look, I think we were we were worthy of something today. Somebody said to me coming in there that I think we we had more shots and goal than any team that Jurgen's taken over in the first half today. And I didn't think we were great in the first half. So there was uh, there was bits of good stuff from us. Uh, we're trying to keep it going. We beat. We beat Liverpool narrowly 3-2 at London Stadium. We've narrowly lost 1-0 today. So there's signs that we're getting a little bit closer uh, to where we'd like to be in challenging. As I always said, try to challenge the best teams and Liverpool are certainly one of them. Is it, is it a question of the players are good enough to take those chances or is it just that is why... I think, I think there's a bit of that. I think, you know, you're, you're hoping on the day when you get the opportunity. I mean, Pablo's won when he threw the goal to beat and he chipped Pablo Fernals and then Lanzini controls one in the box. And, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd never thought he could put it over the bar from where he was. That was my, my thought at the time. But maybe that's why the 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 centre forwards, but I was, we mentioned in the dressing room there to, to the staff when I was talking, saying, you could buy a top goal scorer who wouldn't work as hard as our players or work as hard as Mickey and Tony and our players, and you maybe couldn't have a, a good enough team. So trying to get the real balance of the work ethic, and the, I think we'd be the work ethic. I thought our players working their commitment to the team right to the end was was excellent. And as well with a team, because I'm sure someone asked me, especially you know we're we're nearly put out the same team again, and I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep playing them because. And if it runs aground, then it runs aground. And all. But uh, we know we've got a small squad. We know we've got some injuries. We know we would have liked to have brought in players in January to add to that. Uh, but what, what I will say is the players we've got are doing a brilliant job. And they've done a brilliant job, really, for the last couple of years. How encouraging you with that performance, considering you didn't have Well, I think we played pretty well last year when we didn't have Declan, but when we needed them, you no, know, maybe to get as we hoped that we could have maybe got to the Champions League and we lost Declan for five games after an international game. So we've lost, ultimately we've lost. Could Declan have made a difference? I'm sure he could have. But I thought that today that I don't think MD watching the game would have turned around and said they've not got Declan Rice playing for them today. I think they'd have turned around and said is look how well Lanzini and I thought Thomas Suchek probably won his better games. And maybe strange enough in the game, which we found is we we found that we were probably the team having to defend more and maybe play in the counter attack. And it made us play better. And if you think of maybe our best performances last year, a lot of them were in that. But we found that the teams are giving us much more of the ball because of maybe our status, maybe how well we've done. And uh, they've made it harder for us. Today, I thought we got chances to get in and and we didn't disappoint. The only disappointing bit was the was the absolute last bit. Does that give you encouragement for Thursday? Oh, definitely. Like uh, I'm hoping so. He had on late Thursday night. 
uh, Friday. He just started to feel unwell. So he didn't train was on Friday. He came in, so he sent away with the doctor. And we sent the doctor this morning, checked his bloods this morning, in the hope that we could have even maybe brought him up first thing this morning. Uh, but uh, not, not well enough, so we've left it. So I'm, I'm hoping it's about the flu, if the flu is still around. Uh, uh, so that's it. And obviously we're now waiting Jared, which is a big... Hey, big Definitely. I spoke with Jürgen before the game and uh, you know, he was very complimentary about our team and very complimentary about some of the players, so no problem. Uh, no, I've not seen Andy Robertson one, but I'd like to see the Jota one again. The Jota one, I think, is the one you should look at by all accounts. Uh, so, and look, this is, I've been, I don't know, there's always a hard luck story here and it's always somebody else's fault because I've been here, but I think even the referee today, I thought there was a lot of things which didn't quite go our way today, you know, which could have easily tipped in a different direction. But I accept that. I know what it's like playing here. It's really difficult. Yeah, just on that, when I was there to um, have complaint to Chris Lord and that's just how was he doing? Okay. He's fine. I think he was annoyed by, I think he was trying to make reference to the Jota tackle. He thinks it, you know, it'd been one of our players. I think it would have been seen it in a different light. Just trying to perform a time like what you actually wanted, because it's in my boss against our house. Yeah, I did. We, we needed, we needed to pick up, you know, uh, and we did, we did with the performance. Good performances tend to lead to good results. Can't guarantee it, but it's always better if you get decent performances. So I'm hoping that we can keep it up. We've got a, we've got a, a great week coming up. New. I was asking Jurgen a bit about Seville, and he was telling me different things. So trying to get some tips because they're used to it and they know know what it's like. And uh, but overall. You know, we've got a great week. I thought we we done a lot a lot of good stuff today, which might have got us might have got us a point. Might have. Sorry. Yeah. Not with a skin. <laughs> okay, everyone. Good. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. See you later. Good to see a lot of you.